Residents of the south suburb are struggling to make sense of it. Many of them are paying their respects at a makeshift memorial. They want Connor Kazmarski's loved ones to know they have the community's support. I'm just praying for strength for his mom and his dad because I have children. I couldn't imagine sending them to school and not returning. That's just. It happened on Walnut Street near Westgate Drive at about 315 Friday afternoon. Neighbors tell us the seven-year-old and another child were running alongside the school bus right before the bus hit him. Connor died of his injuries at Franciscan Health Olympia Fields Hospital. Park Forest Police are interviewing the bus driver and witnesses. They are reviewing home security video of the incident. Connor was in second grade at Mohawk Primary Center. The superintendent of Park Forest, Chicago Heights District 163 says, we extend our heartfelt condolences to his family and our thoughts and prayers will continue to be with the entire family in the difficult days ahead. He was a joy to all of his teachers, kind-hearted, smart and funny, always with a smile on his face. He will be missed greatly by Mohawk and District 163 students and educators. Our entire school district is saddened by this tragic event. They got off the bus up right before he got off. So and they talk about Connor, they play with Connor before. This is sad. Angela Collier's three children and Connor were busmates. I don't know what really to tell them. They don't, kids don't know about grief or death. I think everybody's just here and they're all protected and safe. They don't know that one day, you know, they might not be here anymore. School counselors are spending the weekend working on a crisis intervention plan. They'll make counseling services available at Mohawk School to students and staff starting Monday morning. In Park Forest, Judy Wang, WGN News.